Start by selecting the Interact application. You're going to need to create an account. So at the very bottom, click Sign Up. Type in your first name, your last name, your email. Make a password has to have numbers, letters, and symbols. So I'm just going to go, I already have an account, I'm just going through the steps with you guys. T-E-N. And then select, if you want to read the agreement, it'll come here and show you, here are the terms and conditions. Just so you have it. And then click sign up. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. So once you're in, select whatever title you want to use the facial projection for. We have Skater XL, Session, and Armor 3. I'm just going to go with Armor 3 since that seems to be our largest use of testers. With Armor 3, we have over 100 different faces to choose from. So go ahead and scroll through till you find something you like. I'm going to scroll a little deep into this and choose one that I like, this one. So I'm gonna select that character. Now you have a choice to use a default image or take a photo. And since this is the walkthrough, you don't have a default image yet, we're going to take a photo. So when taking the photo, make sure all hair and glasses are off your face so your face is completely unobstructed. Lighting is a huge issue. So make sure you have something that gives you full light on your face. So move the camera around, you could see, here's my face completely dark. This will not give you a good projection. If you move it, now you can see the light on this half of my face and it's still dark here. So as I move towards a light source, now I see everything is completely even or as even as it can be for this light source. You wanna keep the phone straight in front of you and leveled right with your face. It tilts your head up just a little bit so you can see the underside of your nostril. And then move, you can move the camera in because it takes actually a far shot. So the closer you get in, the better usually your projections become. I'm gonna look straight here, get up close, so like my face is pretty much right in the camera. Look straight at the camera. Wait for it, good. The lighting seems to be fairly even. I'm going to hit the check mark to signal that I'm okay to project this. The button to the left just lets you redo it. So I'm going to click check. <clears throat> this process usually takes about 30 seconds. So just give it some time. Close. Hmm. Not too bad. I can go down here. If I like the overall result, I can use this bottom right icon to save a default image. Now, this can be saved as many times as you want, though every time you save a new one, it'll overwrite the original one you have in there. So I'll say yes. Then I hit the check mark to choose a format for Arma 3, JPEG, Skater XL will be PNG, 
and for session will be TGA. So ARMA3, I'll choose JPEG. I'll say OK. And I have a Google Drive already set up for the renders. So I can go to my Interact Renders, ARMA3, hit Select, and Save. And that's essentially it. When I'm done, I can go exit out and choose another one if I like. And that's basically it. So try this. It might not work good the first time or the second time or the third time, but keep going. It should be pretty fun. You'll eventually get it and we'll get better at doing it.